You shouldn't expect Chrono Trigger 2.0? Oh, I never would. But people have said, you like Chrono Trigger, you'll like this. And I'm inclined to trust people when they tell me that, when I've heard it, like, more than a couple of times. So anyway, Secret of Mana. I don't know anything about it. This is a... Should I put, like, in the... The stream title, should I put, like, Blind Run? Because I've never played this. I'm gonna ask for your guys' executive, uh opinion on that one. Let me adjust this a little. I want this to be a nice big window. Uh, actually. 100% yes. Okay. Let me just switch the title. Mika River Secret of Mana Blind Run. Because I don't know a single thing about this. I might actually play this for a couple days. I wasn't sure if this was going to be a one-off or if I'm going to play this for a couple days. Uh, it depends on if I like it. Hold on, let me window size. There we go. Let's check it out. Just know that the music is sour, please. Okay. So I put Blind Run in the title. So if you played this and there's like spoiler, I heard that the story is good, but that's subjective. <laughs> so music is really good. I'm sure it is. I really like uh, Super Nintendo style. Oh, that's weird. I already set my controls before. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Look at me being fucking unprepared. I definitely set my controls before. Did it remember? Left, down, right. B, A, Y, X, start, select, L, R. Oh. Wait, what? Select? Huh? Choose new game to start from the beginning. That's what I want to do. Oh, okay. That guy looks like Chrono. <laughs> I had a can of Coke open. I'm assuming a bee flew into my Coke and I drank the Coke with the bee. You'll probably be fine. You'll probably just digest it. If you're concerned, I mean, go to a hospital. But I'm pretty sure you'll just poop it out. <laughs> uh, is there lowercase? No, there's not. Cool. It's gonna be Mika in all caps. Can I be like Mika with an H at the end? Like Mika? Can I be like Mika like but with the GH so I'm like Mika? <laughs> yeah, cool. Using the power of mana, civilization had grown strong. In time, mana was used to create the ultimate weapon, the mana fortress. Cool. So it's like, people used magic and then made a magic fortress, the same to the gods, they sent their beasts to destroy the fortress. The magic fortress of magic. A violent war rocked the world and mana seemed to disappear. Aw, no more magic. Before I was lost, a hero with the mana sword- magic sword- smashed the fortress. Sorry I just replaced mana with magic, I'm just like, why? The civilization had been destroyed, the world was peaceful again. Isn't the Japanese title of this, like, something densetsu? Legend of, like, something. But time flows like a river and history repeats. Something densetsu. Wow, Mika. Well, you know, it's like how Zelda in Japanese is Zeruda no densetsu. Because that's, uh, Legend of Zelda. This is also, like, one of those. Hey, guys, wait up! I'm... Ah! Be quiet, the Elder will find us here and be mad. What the fuck are you guys doing? Seiken Densetsu 2. Oh yeah, it's like a sequel to something. Yeah, we're not supposed to be here. There's a ghost around. Ha! Do you really believe that? People say that to scare us. But I heard Grandma say something about a shiny object near the falls. That must be some kind of treasure. We have to find it. This kid's like wearing a straight up like elf hat. These kids look like fucking dorks. How old is the are these characters? Ah. Uh, oh, bye. <laughs> They're both just like, F. <laughs> Whatever. Ouch, phew. No way to get back up. Now what am I gonna do? Damn, that hair is so fucking- Do I have like a menu I can go to yet? No. Wait, what does this do? Did I pick something up? Whoa. I can do like a mad dash? These controls are confusing! Yeah, if I hold down, uh, this button, he dashes, and I don't have to hold a button. Why does he sparkle? 
Oh, is it like... Oh, and then I can't dash again for a second? Oh, that's interesting. How do I get out of here? Oh, okay. It looks like Chrono Trigger, but I don't see it to a point that it's like, how dare. Let me out. Oh, I see it. It teaches you to use the dash by being like, gotta go upstream to get out. Or something. Or I'm just too stupid and didn't go through that the first time, therefore the game's like, you fool. Mikach! Mikach! What was that? Can I help you? Aw, oh, sick! Super Death Sword! I want the sword, I want the sword, I want the sword, I want the sword! Ah! The village is this way. I have to find something to cut through. Like maybe a sword! You get used to the camera, don't worry, Mika. I believe it. Sword, 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 sword. How do I get the sword? I want the sword. I must have. Mikag, Mikag! I guess it's just gonna keep doing that. Maybe that fancy ass death sword! Yeah, it's like you gotta use the dash to go upstream. Alright. This is interesting. How do I get through here then? I want the sword! I'm frustrated already. <laughs> I'm frustrated already. How do I get to the sword? I love sword. Please, I need sword. Please, sir. Continue left? Okay. I'm basically as blind as you are. I haven't played this in like 15 years. You should still know! No. Jump off the bridge. There's a bridge? What bridge? I hate you. I'm gonna kill you. Go jump off a bridge. Go sit in the road and let a car run over you. Whenever I try to do an impression of Dr. Phil, it just sounds like Hannah Montana and it makes it worse. I can't jump off the bridge. Or can I? Just walk around outside the water. Okay. Mikar! Mikar! I hate you. I'm gonna kill you. Give me $20. Come on. Let me go. Okay. Because I can't go through here. He's gonna be like, the village is this way, I have to find something to cut through. Walk to the left. Okay. Okay, enough, enough, enough. Uh, down to the- down to the left of the- redacted. There's just like- can I- there's rocks? Go up? can't go through here. I'm pretty sure you can continue further up through the cut through message. Cool, that was useless. Yeah, I'm like, y'all are... <laughs> where, where am I fucking up, guys? Walk to the left, Miko, lol, and then it's useless. This is going great. I know, right? I'm stuck already. Isn't that fun? Aren't we having a good time? Why am I stuck? Go to the cut through message and then continue up. Oh, okay. I figured I have to go back. I guess I don't have to. Oh, I can continue up. Okay, that was mildly misleading. Oh, I see. Fuck all the people in chat who are saying continue left. <laughs> what, what kind of... What? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm hiccuping as I'm speaking. What are you trying to say? Erg. I got a sword. Ow, that light. So bright I can't see. Uh, uh, who the hell? A ghost! 
Mikar, it is I who asked. The sword. Eh? It's been a while. Say what? You mean this sword? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, fuck. I have to get back. Oh, am I- do I walk like this now? Am I just like, hoo hoo, hoo hoo, ha ha! Rusty sword, huh? What the fuck? Oh, 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 what kind of fucking- <laughs> I have a menu now. Holy shit. How do you not know what you're doing in this blind playthrough? God, I know, right? What button do I use to sword? Which sub board sword is the board? Which board is the board button sword? What the hell is going on? Things take a while to get used to. No, really? Okay, it's just this button. Attack button! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> use the attack button. Okay, cool. Let me look at my fucking PS4 trail. Aww, what's a rab bite doing in a place like this? Attacking me. Ow! Oh, this is fun. I like doing this. Die! 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 Imagine if I lost. You actually have to wait? Come back. Fucker. You have a cooldown cool down timer next to your health. I see that. Candy! Yay! <laughs> What's the main character supposed to be named, just out of curiosity, or is it like a spoiler? Oh shit. Die. Die. Did that thing this fucking auto-suicide over there? Frisk. <laughs> Thank you. Ow. His name's Randy, I guess? Cute. How old is he supposed to be? Like, 12? Is this thing auto-suiciding again? Oh, shit, no it's not. Ow! This music is good, I agree. I got 4 GP, whatever that means. GIP! Points now, it stands for GIP. I'm sorry, I'm very focused now on defeating these tiny animals. <sighs> Hello. There's two of them. Two of them. Ow! Can I die? Can I, like, die at this part in the game? <laughs> Yes, you can. Well. Are they auto suiciding over there again? Candy! Yeah! Let's hear it for candy. Oh, God. Candy. Let's hear it for candy! How do I use it to heal myself, though? That's what I'm wondering. Yep, that sure is a rusty sword. Because this is a menu. Uh-huh.
Fight me to the death, you stupid, stupid rabbit. Why are they called rabbites? Yeah, weapons can level up! Wow, 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 wow! I'm the ultimate sword master. I like how this sword is rusty, even though it's like the chosen one sword or some shit. I was like, I am the one who called you here to accept this rusty, shitty sword. Nice. Yeah, these rabbits must not be stupid because they know how to cross over bridges. Come out and fight me to the death! There's three of them over there. Well, it's been at the bottom of the waterfall. It just needs a little polishing. Yeah, I guess so. Get them some oils, boys. Get them some oils. Die. Die. There's so many of them. There's still three. Uh... Am I that guy who's gotta, like, clear the grass and be like, what if there's something in the grass? Oh, shit, this one just came barreling towards me like, come on, let's fight! Ooh! I just burped, I'm so sorry, everyone. I did just eat mashed potatoes, though. Oh, Jesus. Excuse me, I'm busy uh, inspecting treasure. It's candy! Ah! Ah! I'm back. Did you see that, Mikhag? A minute ago, something lit up in the sky near the falls. I have a real bad feeling about this. It was me! I did it. Uh. Oh, this music is kind of good. Uh. Uh. Mikhag, the Elder was looking for you. What did you do this time? God, I know, right? I feel the same way. Where's the Elder? Who's here? I like how everyone wears sleeping caps. Stop playing with that sword before you hurt someone. Ha 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 ha! Try and stop me! Why are you wearing a kitty cat hat? There's a strange guy in here. He looks kind of scary. Dude, he's getting the fuck down. He's like, yo, this is my jam! That guy seems to be a knight from somewhere. What's he doing here? Oh, this guy? Aren't you the one I saw at the falls? You're already going batshit? How am I going batshit? What did I do? Mikag, you're not hurt. They just told us what happened. Yeah, I'm okay. I thought you were a goner. I told you it was stupid to bring something like him Whoa! Hey! Yeah. Uh... You idiots, weren't you told not to go there? Yeah. Oh no, it couldn't be. Cool, did you find that treasure? Way to go. What have you done? How could you have pulled out the mana sword? The what now? It's all rusty and nasty. It's not that good. It's impossible, but it's possible. I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee, everybody. Take a big fucking sip, babes. <sighs> if the sword is removed, and here it is, it said that the mana sword has been protecting our village from disaster. So that's it. That's what uh, why all the monsters are attacking us now. Uh oh. Oh shit. How can an insider like you yank the sword and bring doom to us all? Oh shit, I didn't mean to. Stop kicking me. Ow. Can I attack him back now? Whoa, an earthquake! Uh-uh, rut row! Uh... That's a big monster! Watch how the monster moves before attacking. Okay. For once in my life I'll try. Ah!
Can I use my candy? Because I'm not full health. How do I... The menus make no sense. Ow! Oh no, I'm dead. Oh no, I'm dead. Oh no, I'm fucked. Bro! Okay. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Where do I even aim? At least I guess I can't fail this. Ow. Tutorial boss is kicking your ass? I don't understand what's happening. I'm confusion. Me too. Ouch. I can't escape when he does the gem missile, by the way. I can't move when he does that, and then he does that. Just in case you're wondering why you're like, why are you staying in one place? I don't mean to. Okay. Alright. Should I let him come towards me? Yeah, that I can't dodge. I can't do anything about that. I bet you aim at the boss? I can't even hit him! Like, I keep- that keeps happening. Okay, wait until I'm 100%. Okay. Ouch. Uh... Okay. Now he's got me backed into a corner that I can't escape from. So I guess I'll just, you know, keep dying in this corner that I'm literally stuck in. <laughs> You got unlimited health. I do. So, I mean... I'm literally stuck. Oh, shit, no. Nope, yeah, I'm stuck. If I can... Oh, I squeezed past! Okay, sweet. Oh, but then he did that. Can't you dodge? I don't think so. The game certainly didn't teach me how. Ah! Well, I figured out this. How do I dodge? It doesn't teach you how to dodge. You just dodge by avoiding attacks? I can't avoid the attacks. <laughs> oh, well, he's dead, so I guess it's fine. I mean, that magic you can't. Cool. Well, that was stupid. I... I seriously don't even understand. What is he doing? Screaming at the air? He's just like, ah, 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 ah. You can't avoid magic. I see. I don't understand. You only died like 10 times. Why, why make fun of me when it's just like, it doesn't even make sense. I don't, I don't understand. I don't know what, I literally don't know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> it makes me feel bad. I seriously don't know what I'm doing wrong. Like, I don't know why I'm making fun of- <laughs> being made fun of right now. Supposed to be pulled up by night times of great trouble. Problem is, you're just too young. You must have happened. Something must have happened here. It's yours. Sorry, but the sword is losing a power and must be re energized. Only the person who pulled it free can do that. What do I do? Visit Sage Luca in the Water Palace. She's been protecting these lands for over 200 years. Listen to her advice. Guess I gotta. I don't understand the concept of moving and attacking. I was moving, and then he would attack me, and he'd attack me multiple times. I was like, okay, yeah, it's actually really, really not funny. <laughs> My name is Gemma. I'll wait for you inside the water palace. I mean, okay. I'm just gonna accept everything that's happening to me right now, because this game has just been, like, bullshit. Oh yeah, dashing uses this up too, huh? I repeat, not your fault. I can't even tell if you guys are being serious or not or like still making fun of me. How do I save? Start and select don't do anything. This is dash. This is the 
menu. Let me look at this. Targeting, equip armor, window edit. Can I like make it different colors? I don't understand what just happened. I'm not serious, is jokes. Here's the thing about jokes. <laughs> Oh, okay, so you can change that they're like different things here. I like this kind of fishnetsy look. Oh, okay, that backs out of it. Ooh. Whoa, what the fuck? Hmm. I like this one. Oh, okay. Select a window with the direction key. Change the... Pressing X down. Oh, now I get it. I'm sorry, I needed to actually read that dialogue. That's really, really compressed. There we go. And then A button does this. Sure, that's a look probably, right? I don't know. <laughs> I think I made dialogue boxes look nice, right? Talk to me. Yeah, it looks fine. My nerves are shot. But I'm spinning around in circles because I don't know. Are we gonna go on a journey or something, guys? The music stopped and it scared me. Help, monster! <laughs> he's not even saying help. He's saying help. Monsters are surrounding the village. Something's wrong. We better stay inside. Here I go. Again, sorry, Mika. It's okay. It's just like when people add to the frustration by laughing at me it sucks it's something i need to get more used to probably but when i'm like hi guys i need help and everyone's like haha you don't know how to do it i'm just like okay <laughs> you need to re-energize the sword yes we talked about that we're gonna go see the water people water not people person person who's like 300 years old oh i get to save the game also that's how you save push attack button to save all right <laughs> You need to fight as if it was like Zelda. Oh, Link. You come to town. Come to save. I think you wasted your coins. Yeah, but I saved the game. So I don't think so. Just my personal preference, though. Because if I die now, I'd be stuck at the beginning of the game. I guess I could use save states. Probably should use save states. Saves a save state, like, right now. <laughs> but you know. Uh, I'm assuming I don't exit back out of the village the way I came. I don't remember if he said go to the north or whatever. Don't use our save states in an RPG that's lame as heck, lol. But you- but you- but you, uh, you wasted your coins because I wanted to save. But don't use save states in an RPG. Ah. We can't go on like this. Yeah, there's no relief in sight. Oh, Mikaj. Yes, that's me. You really done it to me this time! Oops. The reason why monsters have appeared in the is because you removed the sword. <laughs> we can't let Mikaj stay in this village anymore. Am I getting fucking banned? If we do, more monsters will come after him. Go! Am I like an orphan? Do I have parents? Get out of here! Yeah, on your way now! I don't want to do this, but I have no choice. What the fuck? Oh, Mikar, get the hell out. I'm going to have to ask you to leave the village. Is this like Tales of Symphonia, where you get banned in the beginning? Of course, what Lloyd did in the beginning of Tales of Symphonia was like a lot worse than this. <laughs> hey, Mika, don't use option A, but don't use option B either, Lamau. Yep, it's like that. People can have differing opinions. In the end, I can only do what I want to do. Well, I got money. Why is there a little girl just running around screaming everywhere? Oh, is this the, the sad backstory? 
Time to use cheats? Guys, chill out! I haven't even started the game! Seriously, calm down. Time to grind? I don't think I need to. Holy shit, calm down. Your mother brought you to this village where you're just a bad babby. Soon afterwards, she disappeared. I was kidding. It's not very obvious that you were kidding. I took you and have done my best to raise you, but now we must part. I truly hope you can find your mother someday. She's like super dead. Goodbye, Mikach. Is everyone being weird? Yeah. <laughs> I heard a lot of Vika complaints. They're about the same level as the chat complaints. The thing about jokes is, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, can- oh, well, this is probably the way I need to go, huh? Can you- excuse me. I mean, yeah. Well, I got banished. Depressing backstory! Ouch. Oh, jeez. They do a big bitey move now? Yeah, I compared this to the beginning of Tales of Symphonia, where Lloyd got banished from his hometown, but also, like, that was, like, super bad. Whereas this kid, there's, like, more monsters appeared! Fuck you, die! It's a little bit much, if you ask me. I mean, I guess story's gotta start somewhere, but... Damn, son. Just being, like... Ah, uh, more monsters appeared! It's your fault! Leave! I wonder if things would've been fixed if you put the sword back, do you think? Is that a monster or a person? <laughs> I seriously can't tell. Is that a monster or a person? It's a person. Hi, we the Canon Travel Brothers. We building a global network. Going to Water Palace? Gemma's already left. He paid your way too. Hop in! Okay. Don't get hurt! Just slide into the cannon! What the fuck? For a second there, I thought it exploded without shooting me off. And I was just like, oh. Am I dead now? Game over! <laughs> I wish someone would slide into my cannon. <laughs> Same. This game just went 0 to 60 real fucking fast. What the fuck just happened? Hi, who are you? We came from Pandora to fight Elenae, the witch in the haunted forest. Okay. This seems unrelated. We need a whip to go through the thing. Okay. There's a lot to- A water palace! Ah, oh, sweet! We should go that way! Let's go, Mikog! Alright, I guess. <laughs> smells like a trap. Smells like I'm gonna get McFucked. Green fire? Cool. Is it just me? I, I know this is a Super Nintendo game, and of course these type of games are what inspired this, but this game like looks like an RPG Maker game. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it just like looks like one to me. But I know that like RPG Maker was inspired by these games that came before it, so of course it does, but you, okay, like somebody agrees with me. I'm just like, it sort of looks like something that someone made with like preset. I'm not, maybe it's because like these things look so disjointed, like the, the copper colored uh, accents here with everything else being like gray. It just kind of makes it look like disjointed and therefore it looks like something someone made with like RPG Maker and it's very blocky. Mm hmm. So yeah. It has the feeling of one. Yeah. It's like a really well-made RPG Maker game. So is that the one I'm looking for? Hey you, where's Luca? My, how rude. Luca, it's nice to see you again. Haha, <laughs> welcome! What? You mean this is the girl that's 200 years old? Oh, so she's gonna be one of those she's 200, but she looks like she's like... 16, and it's like, oh, how sexy. <laughs> no, no, sexy times. This game is a precursor to Cage, so is everything. My, my, looks like you have the mana sword. How interesting! Ho, ho! Uh, yeah, I guess. Luca, monsters are invading villages. He just fought one. I know, the ebb and flow of water brings news from around the world. Is that how that works? 
Mana's power is growing weak, that's why this boy was able to take the sword. When he did, the balance of Mana in this area shifted and the monsters revived. Damn, I really fucked up, huh? I want to fuck a 200-year-old elf girl that looks my age. You're valid, I guess. There are evil monsters working to steal away the power of the mana sword. By defeating those evil monsters, you can restore the sword's mana power. The power is kept in orbs. Looks like it regained some power from the mantis ant. What's a ma- is that the thing I fought? The mantis ant? There must be more hidden orbs. I like how they're not called anything cool. They're orbs! <laughs> Which hold mana power of the sword, and you must find someone who can forge the sword to release its stored power. Alright. How are we gonna go about doing that? Gemma, watch out for the Empire. It seeks to obtain the Mana Fortress. You mean the one that destroys the world in that fairy tale? That's no fairy tale. The Empire is trying to awaken it. The Empire is going to unlock the seals from the world's mana seeds. A bunch of strangers have already started snooping around this palace. Something is very wrong in Pandora. Could the Empire be involved? I don't know, Gemma. See the King of Pandora and tell him to be cautious. Alright, I'm on my way. Mikag, you go to the cave called Gaia's Navel. <laughs> Belly button time. <laughs> hey look, a game I know fuck all about! Same! What's up, Red Oni VA? Dwarves live in that cave. They make good weapons and know all about, all about weapons. Massive lore dump. Yeah, I don't... Pff. I'm gonna wake up after sleeping today and I'm gonna be like, Boy, I don't remember a single fucking thing about this game. They may know somebody who can reforge and empower that sword of yours. As your sword's power and skill level increase, so too will your ability. Cool, I'm overstimulated! What are you so scared of? Sword. That is the mana sword, but its power is gone. It's used, la it's used its last ounce of power to summon you. Why me? Why did it choose me? I don't know, but now you must re-energize it. <laughs> okay. No way! Eons ago, the Ancients used the Mana Fortress in their final battle, but even they could not control mana. This game is supposed to be like 22 to 29 hours long? That's pretty short. Apparently it's not a very long game then. In the end, it was your sword that saved the world. Survivors rebuild, rebuilt the world to honor mana. I don't understand any of that. Mikhaeg, the Empire must not restore the fortress. Regain the sword's power first or all is lost. What should I do? You must become a hero who is worthy of the sword. Who, me? No. <laughs> That's impossible! Mikag, the Empire must not restore the fortress. Regain the sword's power first or all is lost. What should I do? You must become a hero who is worthy of the sword. Okay. Enough! Hold the sword up to the seed! Alright. NUT! <laughs> I said nut. For a moment, the seed and the sword became one. You have sealed the mana seed with your mana sword. Now the mana power from the seed will only send only to you and your sword. What the fuck does that mean? You'll be able to gain power from the mana seed wherever you are. The world has eight palaces. Visit them all and receive the power from them all. Okay, that makes more sense. Take this spear with you. Mana guardians used it long ago. I got a spear. Uh, nut joke? <laughs> it will grow and regain its power just like your mana sword. There must be more weapons like this spear in the world. Find them. I'll restore you. Yeah, I want to save the game. First, head for Gaia's navel like Gemma said. Look for the underground palace. To reach Gaia's navel, head south the realm of Pandora. Okay. <laughs> Ugh, just everything, it's like my eyes go unfocused and I get this glazed over look and I'm just like, okay, I don't know what's going on. I seriously don't have a fucking clue. Not even a little bit. This game has weapon types, by the way, it's pretty damn cool. You can switch to the spear now if you like. Sure, why not? Oh, this is equip armor. How do I equip a different sword? Is it the this one? Oh, nope, not action grid. No, wait. Nope. The other menu? How do I do other menu? Actually, don't. 
up now. How do I access the other menu? Because I hit square and I get this one. Evil Fortress is going to be restored by the Empire because the mana power is low. You gotta touch the nuts to fight the Empire and restore mana. You got it! I understand completely now! The one that had just your sword on it. I don't know how to access it. Like, what button do I, do I press to access it? I don't understand. I'm sorry for being like, I don't get it, but I don't get it. How do I access the other menu? Yes, I realized it was the one that just had my sword. But I don't recognize how I even pulled that up. Because select and start don't do anything. Does no one know? No. It just doesn't let me get to it. I am also don't know because I've never played this. Try one button at a time. As if I'm not doing that! This is left button. Nothing. Top button. Right button. Bottom button. Just press buttons. I, I am. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, I never thought of pressing buttons. I'm seriously that stupid, everyone. <laughs> Start, select, L, R. They don't, none of them do anything. <sighs> Try opening that N, U, and R, and L. That's me pressing R and O. They're not doing anything. Wow, I love technical difficulties, don't you? Hit up or down while in the ring menu? Oh! So that's how you do that. Now I finally know. Thank you! It'd be nice if the game, like, pff, fucking told you that, because that's so not... What do you say? What's the word I'm looking for? Like, uh... The menu looks cool, but not very intuitive. That's what I was looking for. It's like not at all fucking intuitive. So that's fucking annoying. <laughs> well, I'm glad that I have you guys here to tell me how to do it. Well, I guess if this were me regularly playing, I would have looked it up, but it is pretty pathetic to have to be like, how do I open the weapon menu? It was cool at the time. Yeah, it probably was. And now it's just like, why the fuck would you make a menu like this? It's like, wow, ooh, ah, e. Oh, I see, and I can do candies here now, too. Well... Ooh. Oh, but I can't cr grass with this one. Whatever. Thanks for making mistakes for me, Mika. You're welcome. Nekos? Is that... Is this cat people? They're gonna be cat people? They're gonna be cat people? Nico Nico Neat. N E K O B. Neko. Nico Nico Neat. no hot, no Nico Nico Neat. Neko would usually be spelled in katakana. There's actually a kanji for cat as well, but it's usually not written in kanji. What you need? You need anything? What you got? Really, Nyaha? What'll it be? Shop? Sweet. Perfectly priceless items available. Cool, you're gonna tell me what they are finally? Candy, rabbi cap, hair ribbon, bandana, cup of wishes. That sounds so useless. Like, a cup of wishes sounds like it's just a cup and you're trying to rip me off. Medical herb, a fairy walnut, royal jam, chocolate. I'm gonna guess at some point we're gonna get a girl, cause there's like ribbon, cute rabbit hat. I'm okay. My cup of wishes is empty. I guess I'll stay here so I can save? Is he like continually like picking up and putting down a bag? Oh, okay, so I guess if I say no and I try to talk to him again, he's like, leave. Is 
Scat can also mean go away. Like, scatter? Come on, get your head out of the gutter. Oh, man. I hate... Oh, sleepy time. He's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that's how I am when I sleep too. It's also a jazz term for making, yeah, like skittily bop 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 poo. That's like, you know, like I'm a scat man, diddle da ba 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 da bop, do ba da bop, you know. Be ba 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 da bo, ba 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 da bo, be ba 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 da bo. I'm a scat man. I just love when you guys are like, oh my god, you don't know how to do the thing, and I'm like, no, and then none of you guys know how to do it either, and I'm just like, uh. Ow, oh shit, I thought that was just a regular ass flower. So this is how daddy plays, huh? Shit. I was like, what a nice looking flower, and then it bit me. I think Cup of Wishes is revival? Oh, interesting. So does can- okay, dumb question. Does the candy revive my health then? Sure does. Nice. Revive yourself by uh, eating candy. I think that's called a Venus flytrap. Venus flytraps don't look like that. They're just like leaves. They don't have flower. That's just an evil- that's, that's what I call a very mean flower. What the hell just happened? What the hell? Whoa. Okay. That was weird. Those statues have titties on them. Or maybe those are hands. <sighs> this game is... Ooh. Okay, I already went here. Didn't they say to go south? My cup of wishes is empty. And they're just like, it's full of wishes. And you're just like looking in and you're like, there's fucking nothing in it! Oh, shit, I didn't mean to go north. Well, maybe there are boobs in the Japanese version. Give me titties, or give me death. Give me titties. Unga bunga bunga. Give me titties. <sighs> Ow. Please stop. Well, that was stupid. Not my brightest moment. <laughs> I was not expecting to get attacked by a flower there. This game don't tell you where to go really well, you gotta be good about reading and finding out where to go. Oh god, this is not gonna be my game, is it? Dude, I have a serious problem with that, where like, someone tells me something and I forget it a minute later. It's just like a problem that I have. This is like a thing that can happen to people. You got us, Mika. Well, fucking thankfully. It's an SNES RPG game, is it? I guess, to be fair, I wonder if it would be easy to forget where you were going in Chrono Trigger if you didn't know. I've just played it so many times I don't forget. Is this thing auto suiciding over here? Oh, shit. Well, it's dead now. Same, you're not alone. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Because I'm like, I, I- it makes me feel stupid. Which I am stupid. <laughs> But I know that there are people out there that are very smart and they still have that problem. Potos Village, which I'm banned from in Kingdom of Pandora, which I was told to go to, I remember. Are you gonna play Seihien Densetsu 3 after this? I've- I don't know if I like it, maybe! I just started it! Oh shit, there's that again. Just fell for that bullshit again. Fuck off, Rabbite. You're on my shit list. Mm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Was that all of my candy? Did I use it up already? No, I still have more candy. I have one more. I mean, I still kind of feel bad. What's the deal with percentages? You, there's like a cooldown time for attacking so that you can't just spam it. Oh, I thought that was an enemy. I guess it's not. 
The thing looks like a toad, like toad from Mario, and he got microwaved and he's like half melted, you know? Uh, is he okay? Well, he's dead. They're about the same, but it has a slower wind down attack, yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's what I expected to happen. Totally. That made sense. I guess I have to switch through the sword to get through here. It's kind of cute. But, uh, yes. Fucking hell again. It also does thrusting damage, not slashing, and that can't cut bushes. Yes. This combat is weird, but fun. Yeah, I don't dislike it. At least not yet. Maybe I'll get sick of it later. What's this? Cannon Travel Center. That's where I was before. Can I do it again? Can you- Hey, Cannon Travel! Can you just, like, make me go to the right place? Guy's navel, yeah. This is a method of travel, I suppose. I guess I can accept this. It's a it's a feature, you know? It, it's a feature. I guess I have to go into a belly button. Ah, that's a big bug. I did not even have time to prepare for that. Die. 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 Yeah! This is spooky. This music is kind of good, though. Ah! Excuse me. I'm so weak when it comes to summer weather that it gets 80 degrees and I am the person who'll be like, it's too hot! Ah! Oh my god. I'm poisoned? What do I do? I'm gonna just, like, die! Oh no, no, no. I can't be poisoned. Oh no, I'm panicking. Ah! Oh, did that get rid of the poison? Oh no! I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. What's this way? Haunted forest? That doesn't sound any better. I'm out of candy! Oh no. If you die in this game, is it just like game over? Or can- oh well, I'm dead, so I'm about to find out. So no trace of Mikog was ever found. I think you may need to grind. What? I have to grind and I just started the game? Is that seriously a thing? I don't know how I feel. You really don't need to grind early on. I'm like, dude, why do you guys have to be so insistent on grinding all the time? The Reaper is teabagging your corpse. Thank you. I mean, he was. I'm sorry, I keep doing that. I should buy more candies, actually. I had money and someone said, like, don't waste your money. But I... Mm, I'm just gonna buy more candies. You don't need to grind. Okay, then please stop telling me to. It's annoying. 
Because I don't know what I'm doing and then you guys make me second guess myself. We just want to do more grinding after that three-wink binge from Pokemon. I see. You can't carry more? I can only carry like three candies? I'm gonna die. I'm glad, Razzferbel. That bracelet will help you? Oh, okay. Do you mean this wristband? This is what you're talking about, right? Yeah, because there's nothing else here. God, if only we had more than pockets, huh? We could hold more shit. Fairy nut. Was the chocolate also good? Bandana adds defense, I think. I don't have enough money for the bandana anyway. Where did the, uh, bracelet go? Hmm? Oh, was it like, oh, I have to do this again? God, these menus are stupid. <laughs> you didn't have your armor on. I guess not, huh? Whatever. I'm gonna use save states in this, because I don't feel like listening to people complain. <laughs> you get used to the menus? Oh, great. I don't... I don't feel like sh anyone should have to appall it. Like, you shouldn't have to defend those menus. It's just bad. It's confusing and it's bad. <laughs> if you have to, like, defend them, then it's bad. Is this the cannon travel? Uh, no. Head towards the kingdom of Pandora, and then I think it was this way? Oh shit. Narrowly dodge getting fucked by that flower. Which is a problem in this game. Zero to ten, not a real gamer? I don't care. I take this as a one-off? I don't know. I might play it more. I wouldn't guarantee it to be a one-off. I probably won't stream it again tomorrow, though, because I have other plans, I just didn't have time to set it up. But I mean, I like it so far. That's the real issue about playing games fully blind on a stream, is that, like, when you're still learning and then you, like, you know, screw up and do stuff like that, it's like everyone sees it. But I should be more aware of that at that point. just get stuck in, like, suicide. Why? The game's also known for its infamously troubled production, which started as a launch title for a planned CD drive add-on for the SNES, only significantly cut out to fit on a much smaller cartridge than the partnership between Nintendo and Sony that Oh, so this is like, this is like a direct child of that Nintendo-Sony Fallout thing, huh? You're just stun-locking them? Oh, interesting. I mean, I guess so, huh? They just like... If I hit them, they get stunned and then they get stuck? I just thought they... I don't know. I, I just interpreted them as me hitting them and them being like, God, I want to die, but not by his hands, and then killing themselves. And I was like, well then... Ouch. Well, that's bad. Hold on, let me use a candy. I don't 
know how I feel about this battle system, actually. This would work a lot better on, like, something that's not Super Nintendo. People be liking this game. So I'm gonna assume it gets better. People be liking it! <laughs> you ever just poke your enemies to death? Wait until 100? What do you mean? Oh. This is Pandora. I was told to let you pass through if you arrived. Sir Gem of Ton Tas Tasnica is the castle with our king. Oh, and I wouldn't talk to the people in town. What? It plays sort of like how Chrono Trigger- Well, Chrono Trigger is still kind of- It's action turn-based? It doesn't really work like this. Oh, wait, wait until 100% instead of, like, 78? I mean... Okay. Like I said, it's more like Zelda. Okay. I wasn't sure if I always had to wait till 100. Like, are you insisting I cannot ever attack at 80%? Like, that's just not okay? Imagine if Chrono Trigger playing if it was not turn-based. Well, then it's not Chrono Trigger. The <laughs> uh, candy... I used the candy, so actually I would like another one of these, yes. I like turn-based games. Me too. Kung Fu suit! Yes, I want a Kung Fu suit. Fuck yeah. Hair ribbon... Cup of Wishes, Spedical Herb. Oh, I might need that. Can I carry three of these? Because then that's something I can have besides candies. No, I'm good. I think 100% does a lot more damage than less, but I might be mistaken. Okay. <laughs> Do the people in town hate me? Do they know me? Grandma's grown senile and won't say a thing. What about the lady outside? Is she senile too? Super Paper Mario is actually good. The master and his daughter are at the castle arranging her marriage. Oh. Can she arrange to marry me? Is she hot? <laughs> My mama and papa. How? How can I help? Wow, what's happened to mama and papa? What? Are they fucking broke? Oh shit, what the hell's going on in this town? This is kinda spooky! They're like crying- this is mildly nightmare fuel. They're just crying children in the house and their parents are just petrified? Uh, spooky. Yeah, I know. Our hero's hair is really nice. Are you doing charge attacks? I, uh, I didn't know that was a thing, so how would I have known to do that? This is awful. It's as though they've lost their will to live. Oh my god. Don't you ever shut up? What the fuck is going on in this town? Uh... What the fuck's going on? I'm spooked. Zoink Scoob! <laughs> this is Pandora's castle. Alright. Waiting until 100%? Well then yeah, I've done charged attacks, but did you mean something else? Like, rut row raggy. This is Pandora's castle. Okay, I get it. Why are the people in the southern runes wearing strange masks? I don't know. This thing just- this game just keeps slapping me with lore! 
attacked us once about 15 years ago. All right. Have you ever seen an enormous tree called the mana tree? Well, I haven't. <laughs> okay. You hold the attack button. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. I wonder if Dialuck is going to be back soon. He promised he'd play with me then. He's probably dead then. Must be dead. Most likely dead. The witch up north must be up to new good. People are acting strangely recently. Hmm. This land has had it. It's been cursed by a witch. Cool. I sense something evil in the ruins to the south. How do you know? Sir Elman arranged his daughter's marriage. I feel sorry for her. They should be upstairs now. Should I care about this? Dad, you're impossible. I'll make my own decision about my life. Look out! Ow. What the fuck? Who the hell? This is trouble. Sir Elman, just what do you intend to do? Let's forget we ever had the discussion. How, whatever. Oh, shit. Oh, is that who she was supposed to marry? Rut row. Oh, dear. I suppose she's so selfish because she was raised by a man? That's sexist. It's been tough since she hasn't had a mother. I wanted to make her happy on her wedding day. That's why I arranged for her to marry a young nobleman. But now she tells me she's in love with a soldier. Well, yeah, arranged marriages are kind of not a preference for most people. What a twist. Mika, you're here. I suppose you've seen what happened to the people. The witch Elena is draining people's energy. Those people are going to the ruins in the southern part of this town. I'll have a look around. Head for Gaia's navel. <laughs> He's like, you still haven't gone to Gaia's navel? You stupid asshole. What did I tell you? Expelled from your village? Well, this realm, too, is having problems. <laughs> she doesn't give a shit. She's like, expelled from your hometown? Damn, that's crazy. It would also be best for if you left the country right away. Oh, damn! Cold shoulder. What a nightmare! The people in my country are acting like zombies! The troops I sent to fight the witch were captured. Well. Oh, dear. Up to now, this has been such a peaceful country. Everything- this game is so awkward. Expel from your hometown? I don't care. Oh, cute girl! Be my friend. This is the first time I've seen the king looking so troubled. Hello, you're very cute. Are we kissing? Can I have your cup of coffee? This is the treasure house. I must guard it for the knight and the legend. I'm the knight and the legend. I'm the knight and the legend. This game is odd. Yeah. It's weird. <laughs> Expelled from the village? Bitch, we're fucking- we're- our whole village is under fire from evil curses. We don't give a shit! They're just like, must be rough! We're all doomed! Everyone in our village is cursed! They really don't care. Excuse me. I'm gonna assume that girl who like ran off becomes a party member or some shit later. <laughs> because, I don't know, there was attention put on her. Their walking patterns fucking suck? I know, they're just like, huh. Uh, uh. I'm gonna assume there's not much else to see here and I actually should go to Gaia's navel. That's just my assumption though. Hello. Well. This game is older than most of the chat. When did this game come out? Is it like as old as me? Because I actually didn't check. What year did this game come out? Get out of the country, dick fart. <laughs> it said 1993. This game is a, this game is older than me, even. <laughs> and that's truly like so shocking. This game is even older than me. Because most of the people in the chat are younger than me. Should I make pancakes? I don't like pancakes, so my opinion of that is neutral.
Hey Mika, look at your health bar. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's the sex number. Night all, thanks for the stream. Thanks for coming to stream, C. Dunson. I'm done farming gold and bloodstained. How did that go for you? What's up, people? Why is everyone just pacing? Are y'all, like, worshipping the gods? Is this, like... What's going on? This is weird. I'm leaving. 69, 69, 420. <laughs> Why Mika getting close to the mic to so just say nice made me laugh so hard I Mick woke up my family? I'm sorry! Really quick, once you can get it set up. What are you talking about? It just takes forever to the point where you can't- you can do it efficiently? What, what are you talking about? The sex number? Oh, bloodstained. I was like, huh? What did I do? The gold, right, okay, yeah. Sorry, it's uh, four in the morning. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Even though I literally asked you, how's that going? And then you answered me and I was like, huh, what? See, now you have a simulation of like what it's like to talk to me in real life. <laughs> in case any of you were like, wow, someday I hope I get to meet Mika, my super idol streamer. That would be so great. I want to meet her in real life and shake her hand. I'll probably shake your hand. You'll be like, hi, I'm so-and-so from the chat. And I'll be like, cool, who are you? And I'll be like, hi, I'm so-and-so from the chat. And I'll shake your hand and be like, hi, who are you? <laughs> I did actually meet, like, a couple, uh, Twitter mutuals at ASEN. I was supposed to meet someone who knew me from streams at, like, two cons I've been to, and we haven't been able to meet up. I meet, cheat with her- I chat with her on Discord, she really be like that? I do really be like that. My brain is constantly in a hundred different places at once. How do you do a charge attack? I'm holding down the attack button, it doesn't charge. I go by Ren in real life, so it can't be that hard. You're wrong! <laughs> I'll just be like, Huh, what? What are we talking about? Hello? I can't charge the attack. I hold down attack button, hold it. Okay. That's me holding it. Excuse me, sir, are you going to finish that croissant? Oh. That was my impression of Carl Weezer. It was really bad. <laughs> this game is confusing. Yeah, I held down charge and I guess you can't do it yet. <laughs> God, you guys. It's fine. Oh, well, it died. Okay! <laughs> I think you need to level the weapon first? That would make sense. Come here, big boy. Come and fight me, huh? You gonna hurt me? Nope. Try it as you're attacking an enemy? Doubtful. Ow. You're supposed to go to the navel? Yeah, I... This is like the only way that I could leave the village that I was in. Or are you just reminding me because you're reminding me? Also, navel's not spelled like that. Just in case you didn't know. Yeah, this is the only way I can go, so... Boop, 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 boop. Ow! Get up! Get up! Oh my god, that fucking mushroom just like teabagged me after he got me down. <laughs> so rude. I don't need a candy yet. Use the springing Pac-Man? Oh, okay. He's like... Oh, here he is. Any reason you chose the original over the remake? Uh, I don't know. I figured playing the original is good. Is the remake any good? I have no idea. This is a blind run. Reminder. <laughs> no clue! I heard it's good! It's really bad. Oh. I- I heard it's good.
It's extremely bad. Oh. I just saw a fucking title that was, like, very faithful to the original. Was that a lie? I guess it was a lie. Wait, hold on. Hodos Village, Kingdom of Pandora. Uh, none of those are the places I need to go. I need to go to the cannon? So he can shoot me there? I watched a playthrough of it, it's eh. Oh, damn it, this fucking thing again. Apparently it's bad. The music in the remake is fucked also. Never mind guys, the remake's really bad, don't play it, just play the original. So yeah, that's why I'm playing the original, it's better. Because <laughs> I totally knew and didn't just play it because I was like, I figure I should just play the original. People said I would like this game and I just figured I should play the Super Nintendo one because people recommended it to me because I like Chrono Trigger and Chrono Trigger is for Super Nintendo. Water Palace. That's not where I want to go. I wish I had a map. I don't have a map, do I? Nope. The beginning of the same is pretty stinky. Sorry for this being your intro. It's okay. <laughs> Shrug. It's okay. I guess it could be worse. It's kind of confusing and tedious. No, really? I'm glad y'all are finally admitting it. <laughs> There's a flower on there somewhere. Beware of goblins. Uh, okay. <laughs> Alright then. I said it looks that way. I haven't played this either. Uh, just follow the signs. The signs aren't telling me where to go. Otherwise I- Ow! Shit. It is confusing and tedious. If it looks that way, it's cause it is! <laughs> Fucking hell. How many times am I gonna get McFucked by flowers? Just the flowers. The gameplay is like a little bit ass. <laughs> nice water. Well, I'm back down here. Someone said to take the Pac Man up. If you go from the Springing Pac-Man, there should be a sign where it says you're near the village and the cannon, if I remember correctly. I'll double check. I'll just use a candy. Fuck it. Candy, please! I want candy! No! There should be a sign here, huh? Oh, I went up before I probably was supposed to go this way. Well, now I know. I still don't see a sign, also, for which way I'm supposed to go from here. Ouch. Oh, never mind then. Well, cool, I went in a circle again! Yeah! I think it was Children of Mana for the DS. Uh, was it good? Should I play that one too? Just wondering. Just asking for a friend. Backtrack to the can- I can't backtrack to the cannon. I don't know where it is. 
That's not backtracking, I literally just don't know where it is. Because that's where I'm trying to go. I vaguely remember playing it, I think I liked it. That's a fucking stellar recommendation you got there. There we go, found it, yay! I wish there was more signage to tell me that. We did it! Everybody clap. <laughs> Yay! This game is fucking weird! Oh my god, my back- I just stretched and my back just cracked like six different ways. Yay! Clap, 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 clap. This game is so not confusing! Woo! I'm gonna like watch the VOD of this later or something and I'm gonna shit myself over, like, me going around in a circle so much. Just don't die to the flying things again? I'll try. No promises, though. There's a lot. Cool. I mean, it's definitely not my goal to, uh... Mika shits herself live on stream, the movie. Except it's the stream because it's not a movie. Oh shit. Well. Come at me, fucker. Yeah, this whole like waiting to charge to 100 thing totally isn't tedious and fucking annoying. No, there's three of them! Ah! Quit following me! Oh, they can't get off of that upper level, can they? They're just, like, moving. Ha 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 Have you played Live Alive? Uh, no. I- well, I played a little bit of it once. I like the concept of it. It was never released in English, right? Also, people like to call it Live Alive, but I believe in Katakana it's like, Raibu Araibu. So it's like, it's Live Alive. Just so y'all know. Just to, like, fucking dispel that, because I'm such a cool fucking elite gamer like that. I'm not, but, you know. If you need to debate over how to pronounce that title, it's Live Alive, apparently. Or is it? Maybe it's Ribu Alive. I'm gonna look that up now. <laughs> What's Live Alive? It's a Super Nintendo game that's really cool, because it's got, like, where you pick from, uh, I think, was it five different characters? <laughs> it's not Live Alive? Live Alive? I'm like, dude. Uh... Everyone in the chat just start going, pronounce it this way. Seven different ones? Yeah. Wikipedia. It's- Yeah, it's Raibu Araibu. So, it's- it's pronounced Live Alive. Just so y'all know. It's an SNES game that, uh, is like famously known for never getting a localization despite being really cool. It's pronounced Live Alive. You know, you realize when you say it's pronounced L-I-V-E, uh, L-I-V-E, it could be live alive, live alive, live a live. <laughs> Is that the joke? Am I not getting the funny joke? So a lot of them? Well, yeah, but... People were just like, why did this not get a localization? And then, like, it was just like, really, that's the joke. Okay, cool. I couldn't tell you were joking. I honestly couldn't tell you were joking. Yeah, like, there's tons of games that- I'm not saying tons of games don't get localizations, it's just one of those. You know? People were like, this is a really unique concept and a really cool game, why did it not get localized, blah blah blah. That's why people like it and care. Yeah, but live up backwards is a uh, evil! Ah! Too spooky. Level four! Yay! This is the weirdest looking navel I've ever seen. I've never played Mother 3, but I also technically never finished Earthbound. I talk about on stream. I never- I like got to the very end of the game and then never actually beat it. And I no longer have that save file. So if I ever want to actually beat Earthbound, I have to play it all over again. 
And that's my reasoning for never having played Mother 3, because everyone's like, Mother 3 is so good, oh my god, Mother 3. And I'm like, well, I want to finish Earthbound, but now I'd have to do the entire game over again. And don't tell me to stream it, I don't really want to stream Earthbound. <laughs> I honestly don't really want to stream Earthbound. Sorry. It's the kind of game, but you should finish Earthbound. Maybe I will eventually. I did like it. Um, it kind of sucks. Because it's one of those games uh, that a lot of people have very strong nostalgia for and therefore act like it's a completely flawless game, which I do with other games, so it's okay. But it's it's so flawed and <laughs> parts of it are extremely tedious and frustrating. Uh, there are parts of the game that are total guide dang it that I would have no idea how to get through if I didn't look them up, which uh, I know I'm not the only one who feels that way. I've heard other people say the same thing. Like, Earthbound is really good, but it's definitely has faults. Yeah, no game is perfect. Absolutely not. Like, even... Like how I was saying earlier, I was like, I consider Chrono Trigger a flawless game. It's not, but, like, to me, it feels, like, so flawless that I... I there's nothing I can very strongly fault it for. And that's why I consider Chrono Trigger to be my favorite game, because there's just nothing about it I don't find to be... Like, that I find to be overwhelmingly a... a you know... Chrono Trigger is pretty damn flawless. See, I know I'm not wrong. As far as JRPGs go, it's kind of like the ultimate. It's like, if you want a JRPG that's as close to perfect as it's gonna get, like, it's pretty much Chrono Trigger. So... People forget how short Chrono Trigger is because there's so many endings and things that you can do. I think that's really cool. But it's like, it totally does have its flaws, I just can't think of any of them because I'm nostalgia blind and shit. But also like, there are people who still won't like Chrono Trigger because they just don't like that kind of game. And you know, like, you can do such so much more with video games nowadays, like voice acting and more complex battle systems and, like, more intensive graphics. But the more things you add to make games that are more impressive, the more things that can go wrong. Which is, like, why older games with more simplistic stuff, like, feel more perfect. There's just less for them to fuck up. You know what I mean? I don't like Super Mario Sunshine. I, I never finished it. I really didn't like it at all. So, yeah. <laughs> My first playthrough on the DS took me a good amount of time. Didn't feel short at all. Chrono Trigger only takes, like, 17 hours or something. It's actually a pretty short fucking game. It just really doesn't feel like it, because it... <sighs> Welcome to the Secret of Mana, where I just talk about how good Chrono Trigger is. <laughs> It's such a good game. Another thing that's great about Chrono Trigger, you really never have to level grind in that game. Chrono Trigger is like 30 hours plus blind. Totally not. If you don't do side quests because you don't know how, you could totally finish it in like under 20 hours. Absolutely. I don't like how a lot of games shoot for graphics over everything else these days. To be honest, I don't know if it's because I'm tainted. Um, because I'm used to, like, modern-day graphics now, going back and playing, like, old, like, N64 PlayStation-era games is, like, now extremely painful. Because, like, technology got so much better that they started doing so much more, but it, like, and it, 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 it led to, like, overcompensating, where now, like, PlayStation-era- PlayStation- even PlayStation 2-era graphics look so ugly! But at the time, it was like, whoa, cool, games all in 3D, wow. But, like, nowadays, it's like, God, that looks like garbage. <laughs> Especially, like, PlayStation 2 now. I don't know what it is. Like, at the time, that shit looked fucking flawlessly gorgeous, and now I look at PS2 games, I'm like, dude, this looks like ass! <laughs> Oh, I think the worst for me is fucking Final Fantasy X, which is famous for being like, Look, we made it so pretty, but now all the animation looks like asshole! <laughs> but I just don't like Final Fantasy X. When you put stylized game, even with simplistic graphics, it can look great, you're right. I think 
think I'm slowly getting used to this battle system. I was pretty eh about it before, but it's okay. I don't know if I like it or dislike it yet. Uh, it's unique. It's kind of just... Well, sprites are countless, whereas realistic 3D graphics will become outdated. It depends. Some old game sprite art looks bad. I think, like... I, I, I honestly can barely stomach, like, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance games, for example. Like, that kind of sprite art with less color, I think, looks really bad. Of course, like, Nintendo, Atari stuff, well, that's different. But stuff like Game Boy Color, Game... Yeah, I think it looks real bad. I, do, I can't really stomach Game Boy Color games. I think they look awful. <laughs> GBA sprite art is really good. Game Boy Advance? Yeah, Game Boy Advance looks great. Game Boy Color looks like fucking shit. It looks so bad. I thought I was supposed to go this way. But I guess I'm not supposed to go this way, because this just leads me to the beginning of this again. Do I need to go down a waterfall or something? They said go to Gaia's navel. They said go to Gaia's navel, they said. You'll know what to do there, they said. <laughs> That's kind of where I'm at. Yeah, not all sprite work is great. Yeah, it's just like the same thing with 3D graphics. Sprite work is awesome if it's done well. 3D graphics are awesome if they're done well. I've definitely seen some games that rely on sprite art that look really terrible. Oh, is this the way I'm supposed to go? Or is this the way out? Th that's a sign that definitely says, like, this is the way to Gaia's navel. Like, that's not right. I mean, it's fine, because I'm now I'm kind of, like, level grinding, I guess. The way- yeah, the way they made sprites for, like, Donkey Kong Country was kind of genius. Nowadays, it kind of looks like butthole, though. I liked the initiative they took with, like, well, we want to make 3D sprites. But you didn't even look. Yeah, but- <sighs> fine. I just didn't want to, like, have to run into enemies uselessly and then find out- Because, like, look how many enemies are down here. They're probably there to scare me off, I guess. I can take them on. I can agree that Donkey Kong Country sprite art looks like poop. Yeah, but back in the day it was cool. I remember back in the day it was like, whoa. And I say back in the day and like... When I was a kid, I talk about this a lot. When I was a kid, like, we already had N64. <laughs> when I was a child, because I'm so ancient and so old. Like, when I was like four or five years old, N64 was obviously already a thing, and we had one in my house, but for some reason I was really attached to playing Super Nintendo, and I guess that's why I always consider Super Nintendo, like, one of my favorite systems. Fucking told you. <laughs> you didn't even look. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. Chalk it up to level grinding, it's fine. I still think it looks fine. Yeah. I guess it looks fine. I don't know. I still really like Donkey Kong Country. It's not as if I won't still play the game, because that game is fun as hell. So it's not as if I won't play. <laughs> Final Fantasy X, however! <laughs> When I'm talking about great games where the graphics piss me off and I also won't pay it, play them. I hate Final Fantasy X. Sorry if that's a racy ass opinion. I don't like that game at all. And the whole, like, the first, like, three hours of that game, to me, were miserable. <laughs> and I didn't, I mean, who did I like? Who are the characters in Final Fantasy X? I didn't like the protagonist like at all. That game is really boring. Yeah. A lot of people say it's their favorite Final Fantasy, and I mean, you're allowed to have your opinion, I just... I don't think the game overall is like, oh god, it's so terrible. But it's definitely, like, my least favorite that I've played. And I've played Final Fantasy IV, Final Fantasy V, uh, Final Fantasy VII... I played, like, all the ones, like, the, the older ones. I played ten. I haven't played nine. I haven't played 8 or 9, but I'm going to assume that they're better than 10, from what people have told me. 
It's super linear with uninteresting characters. I always thought that uh, Yuna should have been the protagonist in Final Fantasy X. I didn't understand why Titus was the protagonist. I felt like it should have been Yuna, who was like way more interesting and more inter like more likable. Literally any of the girl characters should have been the protagonist in that game. I didn't give a shit about anyone else really. I genuinely love 12. Really? <laughs> Don't people like- I, I haven't played anything uh, past 10 unless you count 14. I've only like seen some of it on YouTube. Have you watched Appleseed? I don't know what that is. I'm probably gonna end the stream pretty soon by the way guys. I would like to figure out where I'm going in Gaia's Navel though. Basically Final Fantasy XIV, but not an MMO. Yeah, don't people really dislike XIII? Because that's why I've never played it. People were literally like, it's not worth it. <laughs> They're movies I recommend. I'm gonna channel hop some more. Good night, folks. Good night, Red Oni VA. I said 12. 13, stinky. 13, or I'm sorry, 13, stinky. Isn't 13, like, really bad? Yeah, no, I haven't played... I'm sorry, I got confused as to what we're talking about. 12 is good, evidently. Everyone says 13 is so bad to not bother playing it, so yeah, I've not played Final Fantasy 13. It's disgustingly bad. Yeah, because people were saying the new Tales game, uh, Tales of Arise, they, they looked at the synopsis and they're like, hmm, it sounds like a ripoff of Final Fantasy 13. Well, I hope they do Final Fantasy 13, but make it good. And I was like, yep, sounds about right. <laughs> if they're gonna do that, I hope it's good. Cause it's like, fine, JRPGs fucking borrow from each other and borrow fucking plot shit and whatever all the time. I don't give a shit anymore. From people stealing like story stuff or whatever from each other. People steal from Pokemon all the fucking time too. I don't give a shit, just do it well. <laughs> just do it well! 13 is basically Final Fantasy X with even worse plot and characters. Sick, dude. There's actually, um, I was talking, this'll never happen because executive dysfunction, but that reminds me how I was talking about how there's a universally, almost, almost universally disliked Tales game, and that's the Tales of Symphonia sequel, and, like, most of the time if you ask, like, if you ask Tales fans, like, which game is the worst? Like, just about everyone says Dawn of the New World, which is the Tales of Symphonia sequel. I actually wanted to make a YouTube video about it because I want to talk about why people hate it so much when it's like overall not really a terrible game. Um, but people fucking hate it. Like as soon as you say like, what's the worst Tales of game? People are like, Dawn of the New World is fucking garbage. Don't play it. <laughs> but I think there's a lot of reason to why people are just so passionately in love hate with it. You know, where like they, they love to hate it so much. I- I have heard that, I have yet to play that Tales game. Um... My personal recommendation for Dawn of the New World, if you- First of all, you won't get anything out of it probably if you haven't played Tales of Symphonia. Though I did have some people in my replay say, Oh, I played it before I played Tales of Symphonia and I loved it. And I wonder if that's part of it? What the fuck was that noise? Was that the game telling me like you're taking too long to figure out what you're doing and I'm about to punish you? Because I still haven't figured out what I'm supposed to do. I have played Tales of Symphonia. Then I would try it. My, like, recommendation for Dawn of the New World, if you play played Tales of Symphonia and you're curious about Dawn of the New World, fuck it. Like, go... I mean, like, Wii is easy to emulate now. I'm sure you can get an ISO of it. Go give it a try. Um, I... My opinion of Dawn of the New World is kind of neutral. Um, the new characters they added to that one don't feel... It's on Steam, Dawn of the New World. I don't know if the Steam version is good, though. Taking a long time to find a place, now you die. Yeah, I'm like, what's going on? I've been in Gaia's Navel for how long now? I mean, I was kind of just running around and defeating the monsters. But now I seriously... No, Symphonia. Yeah, I'm talking about Dawn of the New World. I have it in the Tales of Symphonia Chronicles for PS3. Yeah, then try it. 
Um, the new characters just don't feel like they belong in the Tales of Symphonia setting. It's weird, like, this, you know, Tales of is one of those things where there's crossovers abound, like the mobile games crossover characters from all the games. Um, so it feels like you can just take characters from one game and insert them into another, but you kind of can't. And the characters in Dawn of the World, Dawn of the New World, don't really fit. They don't look or act like they should be in Tales of Symphonia. Their interactions with the original cast are weird. Um, the voice acting is bad. Uh, they didn't get a lot of the old Tales of Symphonia cast. I'm trying to remember who actually reprises their role. Uh, I think Perseus is the same. Colette's is the same, I think. So May in that last game. What? Oh yeah, like feeling really out of place and stuff, yeah. Um, I'm guessing I need to get down to where that bee is. Uh... The, there's a monster raising system that's like, so-so. The main thing I heard is the main character is annoying and the old Tales characters do not play much of a role. Yep. That's why it's like, you may end up just being like, fuck this and chucking it, or you might play it and be like, I don't think... If you've played the original Tales of Symphonia, I don't think you'll come out of Dawn of the New World thinking like, wow, that was great, that was a wonderful full-fledged Tales, like, mo mothership title game. The hell? What the fuck? Ah! Uh... Um... But you, you might enjoy it. Again, my opinion of Dawn of the New World is neutral. I guess I didn't really need to do that, but oh well. I guess flowers, no magic. Yep. Weird. I plan to play it and see for myself. I would. It's just because a lot of people, I think, get scared off of it too because the hate for Dawn of the New World is so ex aggressive. I can't think of a Tales game that I've ever played and thought, like, this needs a sequel. <laughs> Though honestly, I'd be interested to see, like, if Vesperia had a sequel, like, where the fuck that would go. But I still would rather it doesn't have one. It's perfectly fine the way it is. Uh, same for Tales of the Abyss. Those- because those are my two favorites, I'm just like, I don't want them to have sequels. Prequels could be cool. Well, I mean, technically, uh, Vesperia does have a prequel, but it's a movie, not a game. <laughs> Can you jump down the waterfalls? No. I tried that already. I just end up standing at the top. What's the one with the two planets next to each other? That's Symphonia! It's also kind of a spoiler, but hey, if you know, you know. I imagine at the worst I find Dawn of the New World to be meh. Yeah, there's a monster raising system. Oh yeah, also you like can't level up. The original cast will like join your party for like small parts of the game. Bas but they basically just cameo and you can't do anything with them. So just warning you, cause that pissed me off to no end when I played it. It's like, I can't play as, uh, you know, Colette. I can't play as Zelos. What the fuck is the point? It was there at the beginning of the game. They didn't talk about there being two planets at the beginning of Tales of Symphonia, did they? Cave behind the waterfall. I see, so I need to get down there. But I don't know how to get down there. I don't know how to get in there. Oh. How do I fucking unga bunga this shit? You know, maybe it shouldn't be taking me this long to figure this out. Cave behind the waterfall. So I need to get down here somehow. Or maybe I can, like, use my dash? Nope. Only Tales game I was pretty unhappy with was Zestiria. I haven't played Zestiria yet. Um, I've heard mixed reviews of it. People really hate the battle system in that game. Jump down the waterfall. Stop asking me if I can jump down the waterfall. Do you seeing this? <sighs> I can't jump down. The waterfall. I just bought Zestiria. I've heard mixed reviews on it. Some pe I The main thing I hear is people hate the battle system. <laughs> so, yeah. I've been planning to stream Zestiria and Berseria, but I just haven't been in the mood to like do a very, very long game stream, you know, where it's gonna take me like a month of streaming a game to finish it. So I just haven't done it yet. 
Like, Vesperia, how long did the Vesperia take? It took me almost up until my birthday, and I started when Definitive came out, so that was like almost two months. You have lovely hair, Mika. That's weird. You were down there before. I didn't get to this side, though. Are you sure? I don't think so. Come on. Now how do I get to the lowest level? Yeah, see I can get here, but how do I... I'm confused. Yeah, me too. Oh shit, okay. Careful, careful. I don't want this guy to take me out. But yeah, uh, people have mixed thoughts about Zestiria. People have mixed uh, thoughts about like most Tales games, I think. I don't know if there's one that everyone universally considers to be the best one, so... Most people just say start with Symphonia, but I don't think anyone is like, Symphonia is the best one, Symphonia is totally flawless. No, it's not. Look at Sheena. <laughs> I mean, I love Sheena as a character, but in combat, god, she's useless. <laughs> I thought you needed upbringing. Sorry for odd compliment. That's okay. Oof! Sorry, was that a shot to the nuts? I'm just like, listen, Sheena as a character, awesome. In combat, fucking useless. <laughs> I love her, just I don't ever want her. Like, in the time that Symphonia, when it forces you to have Sheena in your party, I'm just like... <sighs> only one I played in Fantasia, and my only gripe was the main baddie had a death laser you can't avoid. Yeah, well... <laughs> First installment weirdness. The rest of Zestiria is fine, but the equipment si uh, system is really confusing and annoying. Why am I poisoned? Did I just- I'm sorry, I was looking at the chat. Why am I poisoned? Did I just get poisoned by a treasure chest? It was a trap chest? This game is bullshit. Whatever. I'm over it. I'm over it. I like not being able to tell if my attacks are connecting to... Yeah, like, that's cool. Ow. Poisoned again. Try being a gamer next time, Mika. I don't understand how that would have... Of like prevented me getting poisoned by a chest. This is really pretty though. I like the way this water is animated. Oh, I thought this was an enemy, but it's a cat guy. Neko, meow, we met in such a strange place. Prrr. Need anything? Uh, sure. I'd like to save. I want to get in Tales games, but I'm kind of an idiot. I'm sure I'll miss out on a lot. Honestly, I think what's nice about Tales games is that the stories are not so incredibly in-depth that you can usually kind of... You can be like me and someone can say something and you can miss out on shit and you can come back and it's like not that hard to like connect. Good. Most Tales games are not connected. Yeah, like literally almost all of them. Majexes... I don't know how to pronounce your username. Thank you for following. You... Yeah, most people just say to start with Symphonia. Symphonia and Fantasia are connected, and Symphonia has a direct sequel. That's literally about it. And still, technically, you could play any of those three games without playing the other, and you'd be fine. Oh, okay, I guess I have to go in the other half of the cave. Gun. Hey, Funky Rot! I still have three candies and three herbs. I'll just save it until I can hit again. Um... Yeah. I would say you could also start with Abyss. Can I follow and- can I unfollow and follow and again to spam gun? No. If you do, I'll ban you. <laughs> Keeping it like it is, Mika! If you spam me, I will ban you, cause that shit's annoying. 
Aw, it'll fuck up the VOD. I'm sure someone would love to be watching a VOD of this later and just hear gun repeatedly over and over again. I'm sure they'd be like, wow, this sure isn't fucking grating and annoying. Just gotta keep it straight up, you know? Just like, you do that shit, I'll ban you. One of the biggest mess ups in recent times is I watched a guide for a linear game and I had no way to die and I somehow messed up. You can do it, Lobgon. What the fuck? Ah! Die! There's a lot to take in here. Oh my god, he actually turned into a pile of bones? What the hell? Goop guys. Goop guys. I hate these enemies! Ah! Uh, they're multiplying! <laughs> ah, <laughs> I'm running away. Tales of Shilly and Shilia 2 are connected. Okay. <laughs> okay, you got me there. Berseria and Zesteria are connected? I actually didn't know that because I haven't played Zesteria or Berseria, so of course I wouldn't know that. Okay, yeah, Zillia and Zillia 2 are obviously connected. I actually know people who played Zillia 2 before Zillia, though, and they were fine with it. So, you know. Could still play him out of order. Also, I don't like Tales of Zillia. True story. <laughs> well! Gameplay's fine. I think the story sucks. Ooh! <laughs> I've only played the one for PS2 that everyone hates. What's the one for PS2 that everyone hates? Legendia? Not everyone hates that game. I love Legendia, actually. The battle system sucks in that game. I like Legendia, though. Lots of people like Legendia. Bruh. I would say the most hated Tales game is Dawn of the New World. <laughs> it's like everyone fucking loves to hate it. I also like it a lot. Aw. I liked, uh, who's the guy in that game? Why am I forgetting on his name? Fuck. The big sexy man. <laughs> With the short hair? Not the- not Senel. Not the main character. The brunette. What's his name? He has a wife. He, like, has a wife and daughter. The fuck is his name? Oh, it's gonna kill me now. I keep wanting to say his name is, like, Edward. But his name is not Edward. Oh, it's killing me. What's his name? I know there's Norma. And there's... Fucking... Shirley. And Senel. I only remember Senel and Chloe. Everyone remembers Chloe. What the fuck is the guy? What the, he wears like I think he wears orange and he has like short brown hair and he's got glasses and he's like he's he's beefy and sexy. What the fuck is his name? Oh! <laughs> it's been a long time since I played Legendia and now I'm getting like really heated about this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I probably played Tales of Legendia like 10 years ago. But people don't the only reason people air quotes don't like it is it's air quotes not a real Tales game air quotes, but now, like, it wasn't acknowledged by, uh, Namco for, like, a really long time, but now it, it has representation at, like, Tales Fez and stuff. So, like, Legendia confirmed for real? After Tales of Asperia, I've not liked the direction the series is going in. Um... I would have to play Zesteria and Berseria to see how I feel about that. I actually haven't played Grace's F either, so pff, never mind. A lot of people say Grace's F is good as fuck, though. So. Then again, I don't know. A lot of Tales games are so different that it's like, you gotta just find the ones that you like. I have a physical copy. How can it not be real? Uh, because of the team that made it? Is why it's air quotes not real? Kitosmo, thank you for following. I don't know. I don't like to be like, this series, the direction the series is going, air quotes, because it's just like, they're doing different shit with the series all the time, so it's like, there is no direction. They're going in all directions at once, who knows? <laughs> and I guess I just don't like to be negative about things. I just like to keep an open mind. That's just me, though. Because I don't want them to make the same game a whole bunch of times. Though I do wish they would remake Abyss with the Vesperia engine, and I've kind of been wishing that every day since I played Vesperia. 
Yeah. I feel like Abyss would be, like, so fucking... It would be so much better. And I, it, I love that game. Like, I want, like... I literally want, like, a tattoo of Tales of Abyss. That's how much I love that game. Can you stop? What the hell is going on with the balloon? Can someone explain what that even is? Is that a spell? But, uh, Tales of the Abyss would be really good if it, you know, if they actually remade it instead of just porting it to the 3DS. It's just like the... After playing Vesperia, it's hard to go back and play Abyss. Is that Bean? Boy, I don't know what's going on. I disliked the main dude in Legendia, but after, like, 40 hours, he's less hateable. I never disliked Senel. I thought he was okay. I don't think I disliked any of the characters in Legendia. Oh, except some of the, like, NPCs were annoying, I think. They have more dark and gritty stories of Tales games after Vesperia. I- well, I remember- th that's the thing, though. Is there was a story about the- I believe it was a woman who did the story for Tales of Symphonia, and there's like a story about this online. She, her, I think it was her daughter, or chi her child played the game, played Tales of Symphonia, looked at her mom and said, how can this be so sad? And then she was like, what if I made a game that was even more sad? And then she wrote Tales of the Abyss. <laughs> That's allegedly like where the big inspiration for Tales of the Abyss was, was like, how can I make it even more sad? <laughs> And then I heard that's a lot of the direction for where they went Vesperia as they said we don't want to hurt people as much as we did in Tales of the Abyss. So in Vesperia the direction was a bit different. So, you know, to each their own. It's a little annoying. I mean, I like things to be darker and edgier. I didn't like how in Zillia there was like immediate like what the in like the very beginning of Zillia, the guy like drowns in a tank or whatever. I don't know if that's spoilers. I don't care if it is, because I was like, boy, that sure was unnecessary. I just didn't like the overall story of Zillia. It wasn't because it was too dark and gritty or whatever. I did not find Tales of the Abyss all that dark. Did we play the same game? Is Cloning Blues not dark enough for you? <laughs> she thought, how can I hurt people without physical contact, too? How did this turn from me playing Secret of Mana, but we're just talking about Tales of games? But see, I like dark and gritty, so like, the darker and grittier the series gets, I'm like, sweet, cool, I like it. I like games that have a really big contrast between like, having comedic moments, having dark and edgy moments, having comedic moments. As long as it's not like, overbearingly dark, gritty, heavy story, I actually like, eat that shit right up. That's actually why I love Tales of the Abyss, too. And Fantasia, your entire village gets murders at the start of the game? I mean, look at the beginning of Symphonia! You meet the sweet old lady and she's like, Oh, Genus, you're my best friend! Then she gets turned into a fucking monster and your village gets set on fire. <laughs> Tales of games just be like that, you know? <laughs> I like Dark and Gritty, but Tales has been going edgy. I guess. To each their own. We can agree to disagree. I think it's fine to go edgy. But if you don't like it, then you don't like it. There's no way to please everyone at once. That being said, I still am just like... The thing in Tales of Zillia- Here's the thing that fucks me- Okay, you know, you know what my real complaint for Tales of Zillia is? Sit down. My real fucking complaint about Tales of Zillia. I did not play the game. Um, like, I didn't play through the game myself. I saw, like, some of it- I, like, I watched the game on YouTube. Are you sitting down? Okay. So, like, to get the entire game, I just watched it on YouTube. Um, I'm still hopeful for Tales of the Arise. I'm neutral on it. People are like, it doesn't look like it's gonna be, like, a very typical Tales game. And I'm like, well, if it's good, then I don't really care. I don't know, like, there's lots of Tales of games. If I play it, I'm like, this doesn't feel like a Tales of game, but I still enjoy it, then I don't care. And then I'll go, like, play Vesperia or go play Abyss over and over again, you know? I don't know. I just, I'd like to see something different, see what they do with it. I'm a very open-minded person. Anyway, here's what pisses me off about Tales of Zillia. I hate Jude. <laughs> I think he's like the worst Tales protagonist. I can't stand him. And here's the number one thing that pisses me off about that. In, uh, in Tales of Zillia, <laughs> good words, thank you. In Tales of Zillia, it starts off, you meet Jude, well, you have to pick Jude's story path or whatever, but... Meet Jude, and it's like, oh, you're gonna graduate from, from medical school. 
oh man, congratulations. And so then I'm like, okay, I get it. Medical school, sweet. And then like you go through the- I don't know if I fucking missed something. You go through the whole like first third of the game, right? The whole first third of the game, I'm sitting there thinking of like, why is this main character such a fucking turbo virgin? How come every time he has to interact with a girl, he's just like, no, titties, ah. I'm like, I really hate this character type. I can't stand this. It's like, he's smart and has no like worldly smarts and he doesn't know how to talk to girls and all this stuff. I'm like, and then, um, you know, the older guy character is like, hey, you gotta learn the way with ladies. And I'm like, what the fuck? This dude's gra graduating from medical school and he doesn't know how to talk to girls. What the, f and then halfway through the game, I'm like, Dude, this kid's fucking 15? <laughs> How was I supposed to know? When you started a game with, Oh, you're graduating medical school, good for you. I imagine like a 24 year old! <laughs> How many times have you played replayed Vesperia since we all went through it the first time? I actually have not done a full second playthrough of the game. I've played up to like the first third of the game. Uh, besides playing it on stream. He has no social skills. Yeah! But how the fuck was I supposed to know he's 15? He's from the Ace Attorney universe, it seems. Shit, you right, though. Because <laughs> he's a fucking 15-year-old med school- Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, please don't kill me. Ah! Hold on, hold on. Ah! What the fuck? I've been bamboozled. But yeah, that's what fucking pissed me off about Tales of Zillia. And after that, I was like, fuck this protagonist. I don't like the girl either. Celery hair. <laughs> Judah's okay, but yeah, not great as a character. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely my least favorite protagonist. It's hard to measure up to protagonists like Yuri and Luke. <laughs> Especially Yuri. Just like, well, we can't just make that same character again, but we have to try and make one just as good. Impossible. Yuri Lowell, ideal man. <laughs> but Tales of Zillia did it worst. They've done other protagonists that I didn't like, but were tolerable. Mila is kind of a block of wood. Yeah, I... Here's the thing about her. Which was the one you played for the first time on stream? Vesperia. Um... Here's the thing about her, is that I, I was reading about this because I was also just so disappointed. Uh, her- the inspiration for the character was we wanted to make a female character- like, protagonist character and make her emotionless. But then we made her and the female members of the staff said, well, she should have some emotions. Therefore, all of her character got fucking washed out and she turned into a brick of wood. If you're gonna do something like that, commit to it! Who is the most meh Tails character? Jude. <laughs> but Yuri is the best protagonist anyway. The best character? Well, <laughs> I'm biased. <laughs> we all know what my answer to that question will be, but I'm significantly biased. <laughs> so, uh, about these slime enemies. How, how are we doing this? Why can't you hit them? I don't know. Oh. I guess I can? Just gotta sideswipe them. Ow! What's the best weapon in Tales of? That's a weird question. Uh, personally, I like arrows. <laughs> I like to play as Raven and I like to play as Natalia, so I would say I probably would consider- unless you mean best overall weapon. Uh, Divine Cannon, because I like the backstory. Just the arrow, not the bow? Yeah, just the arrow, not the bow. <laughs> just start learning the- <laughs> Can you imagine Raven snapping his weapon in half and he's like, Oh shit! And he just starts throwing arrows! <laughs> that sounds too fucking real! <laughs> Mika likes crime? I sure do like crime. <laughs> Raven shooting- Stop making me laugh! I have to pause the game! I'm like laughing and sweating thinking about this! We can't talk about Raven while I'm streaming, it makes me <laughs> I mean, yeah, in the end, arrows are just very small spears. Oh my god. See, now, if Raven runs out of arrows, that's okay, because his bow can, like, turn into a thing. But he runs out of a uh, bow and he's just got arrows, now we've got a whole new problem. I 
Did you just link the comic where it's Link and Raven? Andy, I can't right now. <laughs> what if an arrow bow with this raven? <laughs> what would that look like? But who is the most overall meh Tails character? Man, I'd have to think about that one. Wasn't there another character I was like, boy, this character's overwhelmingly boring? Uh... Eoder and Vesperia. He's like supposed to. I, I don't know. He was really. I think. I don't know. He could have been more interesting than he was. I still don't know who this Raven is. He's a character in Tales of Vesperia. He's purple, baby. That was me drinking some water. I needed some water after that. Show pics. Fucking Google it. <laughs> I'm not gonna pull up pictures of Raven on stream. Just be like, look at this. Look at this. Unless you're inviting me to do that, in which we can just spend like a fucking hour looking at pictures of Raven instead of me actually streaming anything. I mean, that sounds like a very on-brand thing for me to do. You know? Like, look at this. Look at this. I got a magic rope. Uh, and music played for some reason. Ah! Do that! How many Witch Tales characters are you quizzes have you taken on Facebook? None. I'm assuming all of them are gonna give me a result I don't like. I can see why you like him? What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Anyway, was the magic rope the overall goal here? Is that why music played? I don't get what the hell just happened. What's so cool about magic rope? Oh, here it is. Magic rope. Does it just mean I can escape? Cutie? Yeah. He's like my favorite fictional character. Like... Period. <laughs> just my favorite fictional character. So, thanks. I appreciate you appreciating him. Also, how the fuck do I get out of here now? Did you see those fucking guys? Oh, just use the escape rope? I mean... It's for escaping dungeons. Okay. But I didn't accomplish anything here. All I did was get the escape rope. Raven is basically God. Sure. I don't understand. I didn't accomplish anything. Save at Neko. Alright. What if the rope only took you deeper into the cave? That would fuck me up. I'm sorry that this is a secret of mana and we just kind of delved into Tales of talk. I try not to let that happen too much in my streams even though I'm usually tempted. Um, but I guess every now and then is okay. I hope you weren't expecting me to have a whole lot to say about secret of mana besides it sure is tedious and frustrating. <laughs> quizzes out there uh, there are that are like which tales of whatever character are you I'd probably get mad I like I'd take a like which tales of the spirit character are you and I'd be like Ooh, I want to be Judith and I'd be like Carol and I'd be like no <laughs> I want to talk about secret Mono, but it's kind of hard when you're doing a blind run fair enough you can only say so much without saying spoilers right I'm, I'm gonna do it! <laughs> There's only four and they're all probably made by you, Mika. I've never made a Quizilla quiz in my life. Or Quizilla Facebook. Quizilla doesn't exist anymore. I've never made, like, one of those which whatever are you quizzes in my life. I don't have the fucking patience for that. I wonder if I want this. Oh well, I bought it. Maybe I want this too. Who knows? What's this? A barrel. If I had 900 money, I'd buy it. Who's your favorite Undertale character? 
That's a good question. Uh, probably Undyne? Uh, but to be honest, I also really like Sans. <laughs> as generic as an answer that is, I'm like, Undyne or Sans? Oh, I'm sorry. It's the Nice Cream Man, like I said on my stream. When I was like, best character in this game? Nice Cream Man. <laughs> But Undyne is probably my favorite. She kind of hits all the notes for me, you know? <laughs> Remember when I was like, isn't that the fish lady with huge boobs? And everyone's like, she doesn't have like any boobs. And I was like, well, in fan art, she has boobs. <laughs> It'd really be like that. Alright, so I haven't accomplished fucking anything in this dungeon. Girl with big weapon? Gay. Absolutely correct! My favorite- uh, there's that, uh, yep, all the criteria. <laughs> Girl with big weapon and gay. I thought you were saying, if she has a big weapon, she's gay, and I was still agreeing with you. <laughs> Girl with big weapon? Me. Mm, yes, gay. <laughs> But also saying, like, hitting all the notes and saying, girl with a big weapon and she's gay, hits all the notes. Also correct. I was gonna say, that reminds me of that post about, um, from Tales of Text Posts, that's Judith. And it's like, sometimes I want a boyfriend, but then I remember all the men in the world aren't good enough for me, and I'm like, god, that's so real. <laughs> There is no man good enough for Judith. Can you fucking... Can someone explain that spell to me? <laughs> Where I just like get a balloon on my head for a while and then nothing happens? But yeah, Undyne's my favorite, I think. Looks like paralyzed? Yeah, but then the enemy doesn't do anything. He doesn't attack, he just like makes me have a balloon on my head for a while. Which, I mean, like, whatever floats your boat. This game is weird. Have I said that enough times? This game is fucking weird. But now I'm enough into it that I'm like, well, I'm gonna have to play more of it. It can't hurt me as much as Pokemon Sigma Balls did. ba 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 da ba da He is my baby, ba 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 da ba da my little baby boy. Well, someone asked what the most meh Tails character was, and I said maybe Jude, and then I wanted to think about the question more. Like, of the main characters? Here's a racy Tails opinion. Uh, Prisea's characterization fell super flat. Racy Tails opinion. I love Persea as a character, but they really dropped the ball with her. Okay, I've been here already. So I think that's a character that in the end it's like, oh. <laughs> okay, balloon time again. God, that looks like shit. It looks like I'm being attacked by clip art. I don't get it. It's not good. I've only played the One Tails game, so I have no idea what you refer to. Okay. Who's your favorite George Lopez character? I just saw that. I don't fucking remember George Lopez. Who was the mom on George Lopez? She was hot. She's my favorite. I don't even- I'm not even sure how many episodes of George Lopez I've ever seen. Carmen? Yeah, she was hot. Angie? Uh... The mom, not the daughter. I think Carmen's the daughter, maybe. I haven't even sent, seen an episode of George Lopez for like 10 years, when it used to come at Nick at night at like 11pm, and I was a teenager and like nothing else was on. Carmen is the daughter. I like the mom. She was hot.
So basically people will tell you, get the fuck out of the village, the village is fucked, it's your fault. Then people say, get the fuck out of the country, the world is ending, it's your fault. Now bullshit ensued. Yeah, something like that. But this one has a fucking boomerang, shit. Hey guys, look how much health I have. Nice. When did that happen in George Lopez? Yeah, that's the plot of George Lopez, actually. I passed out and woke up and saw this and can't stop laughing. Is it me? Can someone tell me what that image is? Can you paint me a mind picture while I play a video game? Wow. Probably use a candy, huh? Oh man, the slimes again? Oh fuck. Shit. I'm just gonna. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can I actually just push this enemy out of my way? Wow. Fucking A plus game design. Push the enemies out of your way. <laughs> I can fucking subscribe to that. I did not even take damage for doing that. I was just like, he wasn't attacking me, I'm gonna push him out of the way. Damn. This is true gaming. Oh, I see, I'm supposed to hit that skull on this wall again. You wanna see how a real gamer does it? <laughs> my opinion of this game is like, actually a lot better now that I know I can push enemies out of my way sometimes. That's sick. Ow, shit, 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 shit. Nice. Oh. That's weird. Damn, I took way too much damage, but whatever. It's pretty useful for positioning. Yeah, man. You can always do it. Why is there wacky music playing? Y'all hear- Help? This is the music plays as I lie down on the- <laughs> This is the music that plays as I lie dead on the ground. What the fuck is going on? Uh, oh. Oh, are you friends? My oh my! You from the surface? A while ago, a sprite child was washed down here. It's doing magic tricks. Is it fucking clown time? <laughs> this is the village of dwarfs. Uh, dwarfs, not dwarves. Dwarfuses. You can hear rumblings from somewhere even deeper in here. Sounds like digging. Yeah, digging. Pussy. There are so many small earthquakes. There, again. Okay. This game is weird! What the fuck is going on in this game? I don't understand. I'm tired. I'm confused. I'm tired and confused. I don't even understand! I really want to go drink like a fuck ton of water. Don't mind if I just like, go get water. Like I don't even, like I don't even throw up a BRB. Like I just leave for like one minute and get a water. Can you all like, take care of yourselves for that long? I'm so thirsty. Oh, my knees hurt. Oh god, oh my god, all the bones in my body are dust! <laughs> I'm gonna go get some water. You guys just like, you know, stay hydrated, bot. Where are you? <laughs> you guys just like, you know, chill out for a second. I'll literally be right back. Just, you know, I'll be right back.
again. I'm sorry for the things that I've done. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> this music is melting my brain. Oh, did I pick the perfect point to, like, get up and go get some water? Like, without throwing on a BRB screen? This song makes me think I have an ear infection. <laughs> really? I think it's choice. I can't wait for the dubstep remix. <sighs> you ever just drink water? <sighs> Delicious. <laughs> so what's up? sword. What if he gives you back the sword and is just like, here, I broke it. Push him and take his money. <laughs> anyway, now I have like a better sword. Yeah! Feels great. Feels real good. Look at this fucking way he walks. He's like, uh, uh, uh. He's walking like his fucking. He's walking like his girlfriend just left him. He's like, man. Uh, girlfriend just left me. Whatever. I don't even like her anyway. I'm gonna go beat stuff with my sword so I don't feel so sad. <laughs> so now head. <laughs> I just remembered how to get charge attacks. Cool. <laughs> Thank you for remembering like an hour later. It's fine, don't worry about it. I don't know, man. I'm feeling pretty sour, please, right now. Elbow pad? Yeah. Yeah, you'll see later. Oh. Dude, do I want a spiky suit or a chain vest? <clears throat> or a midge robe? I feel like that's probably a fucking mistranslation. Like, it probably said, like, meiji or something in the Japanese, and then some fucking dumbass idiot translator was like, Must mean midge! <laughs> I'm probably wrong, also. But shit like that does happen. Oh, can I sell my old equipment, also? I might want to do that, huh? Oh wait, that's on like its own screen. Well, I'm sort of used to this menu system, but I still hate it. Wait, two? Is this one more? Why is it ellipses? Why does it become ellipses? I don't understand. Can't equip it. Oh, okay. So, like, I can't equip the, uh, kung fu suit. But I can equip the spiky suit. Okay. I had a feeling this menu was not your cup of tea. Where'd you get that from? Me complaining about it constantly? I can't imagine where you got that idea. Nah, I missed all that? Oh. I still hate it. <laughs> facts are facts. Step on right in. It's the Dwarf Village's world famous exhibit hut. You're still streaming, Mika? I get this every day. I don't have 50 GP. I'm starting to not enjoy the song. Same. Suck my dick. Suck my balls. 
Fuck this song. Uh-uh. I should probably sell some of my old equipment, and then I'll have enough money for whatever. I like how uh, he asked, like, do you want to do it? And I was like, yeah. And I was like, no, because I don't have any money. Da -da -da -da. This is the music that plays as you die. Have a good sleep, Funky Rot. Thanks for coming to the stream. What's this place called again? Dwarf's Palace or something? Dwarf Village? Dwarf Town? Dwarf people? Dwarf village. There you go. <laughs> the show's just starting. First, cast your eyes on the Rebite Man, the only one in the world. Take one Rebite and one man, and it's Rebite Man. Hey, you pipe down. And now presenting. Why is he yelling? And now presenting an actual and very rare Sprite Child. Woo hoo hoo, ah, uh, won't you please help me? Yes, folks, it's pure tragedy. Weep as you hear his story. This poor child has a $50,000 GP debt to pay off. It's here working off the debt bit by bit. Haha, <laughs> hilarious. That's so funny. Oh, please, gentle people. Please help it. I, I... Yes. Jeez, a lot of nothing. These poor people just aren't gonna cut it. I just wasted my fucking money. What the fuck was the point of that? Why? Every day, work hard for no fucking money. I think you need to pay for that now that was story progress. Was it really? Does that mean I need more money? Does that mean I have to go farm for money? They just call the child it? Yeah, they don't give a shit. For a second I thought I couldn't leave and the game was just gonna be like, Dwarf Village, you never leave. Dwarf Village forever. Hey guys, the music's over. Are you happy? Can I defeat these things now? Cause god. Fuck off. I seriously don't know how to get rid of these. How are you liking the game? It's okay. It's very tedious. My ears feel like they've been laid on a soft pillow after a long day of torture. <laughs> That's how you feel about the music changing back? Yeah, I could understand. I'm gonna farm for monies. I would like some monies, please. Please need money. I miss it? Lamanga, are you okay? That might be Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> games that award you for being patient because I don't like being patient. You know? Not bad, have heard worse. True. There's like the Cats video game for G Game Boy Advance. Do you guys know Cats with a Z? Meow! <laughs> 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 Top quality. I mean, what am I talking about? That game has a flawless soundtrack, obviously. Da 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 meow. I have a kitters with me. You have a cat? Ooh, very nice. I love cat. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Do I have more money now? Like, did I get more money from that now? That's my question. That was that noise again. Was that the sound of you're taking too long to leave this area? Because that's what it feels like. He is my baby boy. Here he comes. I want to see my little boy. Here he comes. I want to see my little boy. No, that noise was an enemy. Is he okay? That's fine, though. I didn't realize which way I was going. My eyes were completely unfocused at that point. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was just so bored. <laughs> Not to call this game boring or anything, but, uh... Snoring in my right ear is annoying. I know, right? Just be like me and only wear one headphone at a time and then you'll be fine. <sighs> this game annoying? Tedious? Uncomfortable? Never. Flawless game. So what's the secret of mana? <laughs> We've learned that uh, mana does stuff, but what's the secret? Secret of Mana is Syphilis. Aww. That's sad. Hey, it's your favorite music, everybody! Isn't it your favorite? It's just the name, lol. No! Don't spoil that for me! I wanted to know what the secret was! wanted to know what the secret of mana was. I want there to be a real secret. Though the game series in Japan is Legend of the Sacred Sword. Okay, that sounds like so fucking basic, honestly. What the hell? Where's the th one I sent money to? Hello? I have more money now, fucker. What an actor I am, that guy was even crying. Well, I wasn't too bad myself. Ha, we're going to make a fortune. Ahi! Did you just overhear what we said? Please forgive us. This child really is a sprite child. It used to live in the sprite forest, but a flood brought it here. I thought it'd help it earn the money to return home. Good idea, huh? Hey, you have to apologize too. Okay, I was wrong. 
I'm ashamed of myself. I'll return your money. I didn't even give you a hundred money. I just got a hundred money for free. Bruh. Bruh. I just got a hundred money for free. Cool, thanks. <laughs> cool, thanks. Appreciate it. I thought I would have to get a hundred money and give it to them now, but now I just have more money. So, hey. Win-win, am I right? Oh, this just leads back in here. Like, when the fuck do you get party members? I'd like to know, too. It's just me out here. Making way on my own. Oh, an earthquake. Cool. <sighs> oh, something's coming. Oh, uh... Ow! Cool. What if I just do, like, a save state? Like, right now? Because, uh... What the fuck is going on? Okay. Alright. Uh... Oh my god. How do I even get over to where those enemies are? Can I leave? Can't leave. Okay, learn that the hard way. Oh Jesus. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh no, 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 no! Ew, what the fuck? Why is it so ugly like that? How do I get over to it? Oh, I see. Okay. Ow. Oh. There's a lot to take in here. Plants are going to Halloween you. I know, what am I gonna do? Okay, unavoidable. Sweet. Ow. This sucks. Oh, he moved. Oh, no he didn't. He's in the same spot. Or I don't even care. No, he moved at this time. Okay, I was ahead of that vine, but it got me anyway. Ow. why oh yeah it's got a piapple neck huh I guess that's why I have to defeat it right I can't hit it from this far away. Oh, it's got like- I have to attack these. I didn't realize I could hit them. Well, that would make this a lot easier now, wouldn't it? Well, I was one of them. Can I save Mika? Well... Ouch. It's fine. And that's why I made a save state. <laughs> we live and we learn. No one come after me like, you're being cheap by, cheap by using save states. I don't really care. I wonder if the spear would be more effective in hitting those. I hate this stupid pumpkin bomb. It's unavoidable as shit. Well, I avoided it that time, so I guess maybe it's not unavoidable, but it's close. Safe states are fine? Yeah, that's what I thought. Stop it. 
Yeah, I can't reach that thing. Well, that's dead now. Might as well use one of my candies. What the fuck? I couldn't even move. How- how did that hit me? <sighs> I don't care what anyone says. This sucks. I don't know how it's hitting me when I run away. Like, should I just stay still when it spits the Halloween bomb? Because I don't think... Halloween bomb. No? No. It's gonna hit me no matter what. It's just fucking unavoidable. Just fucking learn to deal with it, asshole. Yep, see? A new Pokemon trailer is coming out today. Any thoughts on that? How am I supposed to have thoughts on something that hasn't come out yet? <laughs> People are gonna complain about it. That's my thoughts on it. And guess what? They always do, so I don't care. <laughs> They could literally do anything at this point, and people are gonna be not satisfied. What did I just get hit by? Did you see that? I just got hit by fucking nothing. These people are assholes. Yep, they sure are. No one gives a shit. Everyone's my nostalgia. Pokemon's not as good anymore. Brr, brr, brr. They could do anything if people were like, oh, it sucks now and you ruined it. I can't reach him now. Sick. Awesome. This enemy has, like, the worst design. It looks like shit. Now there's two of them. I can't reach him. I can't avoid the bombs. Like, seriously, what? Oh, I can reach him. But I'm dead, so it doesn't matter. Safe state again. <laughs> Try again. Unavoidable attacks. Man, it's got- it's hitting all the straights here. Terrible design, unavoidable attacks. How, what the hell just hit me?! Okay. Oh, am I supposed to use my sword on the bombs? Is that what's going on? I don't think that's what's going on. Oh! Well, that sure is also very counterintuitive. <laughs> well, okay then! I guess you live and learn, huh? I like how he cheers when I use the candy. He's like, yeah! Oh, that one got me. Okay. But they're using 3DS animation. It's dead obvious they're doing such. So? Who cares? They reuse animations all the time. If you actually seriously care about that Lobgolon, I don't know what to say to you, because who the fuck cares? I need to remember that I can hit those bombs with my sword, huh? Okay, well I could hit them with my sword before, but it didn't work that time, so... Consistent, I guess? This fucking music, it sucks. I hate it, actually. <laughs> Am I just not in a mood? I hate it. It sucks. 
It's the same shit over and over. Okay. I like this song. You're wrong. <laughs> I also say this transition to this boss was terrible. I don't understand what just hurt me either. When the fuck do you win? I don't know. You suffer in hell forever. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. I don't feel like having a discussion about it, Loblon, honestly. I'm very tired and I'm sick of hearing people complain about it. Because I really don't care. To be honest, sorry if I'm being like too honest. Maybe it's because I'm tired. I could give less of a shit. Okay, I'm just gonna save state again. Let the bomb bounce once and then hit it with the sword? Nope. Sometimes you can hit it and sometimes you can't. Nope, it's just like, I'm always getting hurt. I'm s I could care less means you do care. Well, I still don't want to talk about it, so... Thank you, Gentle Waltz, for pegging us in our time of need. <laughs> Because stream is still going strong. It is. Strong? I don't know about that. This game is bullshitting me. <sighs> okay. Well, I need to obviously get him down and then... Oh, did I get rid of the second little plant? No, I didn't. Okay, now I need to head towards him. Okay. Got whacked. Uh, that's good. I went for a walk back since it stopped raining and I want to get some fresh air and saw a rainbow right when I was back at my house. Aww. How nice. Save state after the meat plants die. I'm gonna do it right now. Let's make another save state. I have one candy. The bombs only seem to explode when they're near you. What do you mean I can't use Gengar, Alkazam, Dragonite, Starmie, Cloyster, and Blissey? I've used them for every single game since I was six! Yeah, people really do be like that. What do you mean I have to figure out how to, you know, function in a different Pokemon game? People complain Pokemon games are too easy, and then they get mad when they're not too easy, too. <laughs> what even is the point of this? Well, it's done, and I feel nothing, because I just hated that so much. I'm literally gonna save state, because I'm just like, I don't want bullshit to happen, and then I'm like, no. Yay. Spirit orb. Take a sippy? Yeah, I guess I'll take a sippy. I didn't need your help.
child receives such a shock from drifting here, it lost all its memories. It really is a nice child. Plays tricks on people sometimes, though. Come on, old timer, give me a l break. It'll take it easy. Oh my god, look at its face. Oh my god, its face is terrifying. Capicola broke out of a sailed palace. There must be a way into it. Your memory might return if you receive some from the mana seed. What, really? I'll go right now, right now. Not alone. The palace is buried. There must be tons of monsters there by now. Would you be so kind as a company the sprite to the palace? This is my new party member? stuck in place? Like, why aren't they doing anything? <laughs> Brother? Please name this little sprite. Calm down there, fucker. What's the matter? <laughs> Dude. What are you doing? I'm sure this will be great when we have, like, depressing moments in the story later and, like, real shit happens and it's all like, Oh, I'm so sad. It's so real. And then just... It's me, fucker. Don't forget me, your friend, fucker. Can I go home now? respond to any of this. Next time I'm probably gonna need a refresher on where I have to go. I tried making an axe but it's no good. Wonder why. Got a boomerang, huh? Wait, I know. Try holding this axe. That's it. Mana power on these weapons doesn't work until you hold them. This axe is mighty special. You can even smash a boulder with it. Take it with you for a thousand GP. Sure. I mean a hundred. will make it a lot easier for you. <laughs> Why do we, like, go up the stairs so jankily? Oh. Yeah, that is nice. Well then, I think that's a fucking enough of that, man. I'm... Ooh. I kind of, like, want to keep streaming, but I don't want to keep playing this game. <laughs> like at all, but also I don't want to switch to another game. What the fuck do we do now? We end the stream because I don't have anything else I want to play. I think I installed another ROM. Ocarina of Time! Dude, no, I'm not gonna start playing Ocarina of Time at 6 in the morning. <laughs> Are you insane? <laughs> Maybe it is sleepy time. Didn't I install another ROM? Hold on, guys. I think I did. What was the other ROM I installed? 